Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is all about sadness. Like, oh, honestly you guys, everybody's saying don't be so emotional. It's the most emotional thing on earth for me. I spent all morning crying and the craziest thing happened. I was crying on the couch, t texting Fiona saying like, I just need to go and make sure they're okay. And I just, you guys don't understand, I guess. Some of you guys don't understand. Anyway, um, while I was crying and complaining on the couch, the girls went down, sit down to the barn, fed the mares, mucked the stalls, took care of everything and came back, started chores. And yeah, that's how amazing my kids are. I believe that you should never ask somebody to do something that you're not willing to do yourself. And that's why I do chores with the girls and that's why it's not just their responsibility and I like it too. But I want us to be together as a team. But today when I really needed to just get it off my chest, they were able to go down and do the things that our horses needed for them to do. And I'm so proud of them, you guys. All the mistakes that we make as parents and all the mistakes that I've made over the years with my kids times like this that shows you you're doing better than you think the time has come that I actually lost something in my little purse organizer if you saw that old video you'll know that I actually ordered this so that I wouldn't lose everything in the bottom of my purse but now I'm losing things inside the organizer anyway I have some I have some housekeeping stuff to tell you stuff that I call housekeeping is stuff that I want you guys to know stuff that's gonna change in our vlogs um, just so you guys have a heads up. I call it housekeeping and I'm going to tell you guys why I wrap Christmas presents, okay? Don't look if you accidentally see something that the girls are going to get. You may notice that this massive bag right here says this on it. This has not gone unnoticed by the girls either, so it makes it imperative that I wrap these presents quickly. The first order of business is that, um, obviously we're going to be riding at a new barn, being at a school barn is so advantageous for us um so this is what's gonna happen you guys the girls are gonna ride three times a week in lessons now three times a week that's huge actually that's not true sophie is only gonna ride two times a week because she's scared of brandon yeah that's true please don't judge it's okay to be scared it's okay to be sad like i was yesterday even though not everybody agrees anyways so even though Sophie's only going to ride in two lessons, Finn is going to ride in at least three lessons. So this is how it's going to work. I know I'm going to get a million questions about this, so pay attention. I'm just kidding. Um, so basically, Gabby is going to ride in a lesson with kids her age, and she's going to probably ride Finn because Finn needs a lot of help. Finn needs a lot of help in riding with other horses in the ring. If you guys remember the show that we did, the, the show series that we did this summer, then you will know that Finn bolted the whole way through the the flat part shit, the flat part where he had to ride with other horses. So Finn is gonna be riding with Gabby in a lesson. Gabby's gonna be riding Storm in a private lesson and then she's also gonna be riding in with Storm or Finn, whoever, in a private lesson with Brandon. That is until we get her new horse. And once that happens everything will change again. So then um Sophie and Finn. So Sophie will be riding Storm in a uh, group lesson because she's not going to be able to have enough power to ride Finn in a uh, flat lesson. She's going to be riding Storm in a group lesson and then she's going to be riding Finn in a flat lesson and then Finn is going to be ridden privately by another older girl that has more experience than Sophie, is a stronger rider and under the um, uh, under the guidance of Fiona is going to teach Finn how to be ridden properly. So um, Finn will be ridden three times a week in lessons. Storm will be ridden three times a week in lessons. And then we will go there whenever we want. We'll go there at least one other day just to play, make videos, do things. Like there are things I want us to do with our boys this year. Like I want them to teach them boys commands on a high level. So there are, so we will be at the barn, at that barn at least four times a week. It's going to be kind of wonky over Christmas vacation, but I still don't see us abandoning them. But yeah, so those are all the big, huge changes coming up. And uh, don't tell Gabby if you saw any of the things that I just put in this box to wrap for her. I've officially wrapped my quota of presents for the day. In fact, I don't even have any more presents in this house to wrap. Um, we have presents, we have things being delivered all week. 
but there are still some things that I have to get done. I always try and get done early each year and it never happens because I'm always waiting. Like I have to take Nick shopping and I can't get some stuff until I take him shopping. There are a couple things I need to order for Gabby that are not available because they were on back order until December the 4th. And so yeah, it looks like we're in it for the long haul. Right, girls don't are doing school. Don't film my writing. Don't film her school. I like though... writing because my writing's hideous. But do you like my cup? Her writing is hideous, but do you like her cup? She got this new cup yesterday uh, when we were shopping with Kaylee. Look, and you can see the drink. It's see it through, you guys. Can you see it? Can you see the tea that's in there? That's Gabby's tea. Hi. Gabby spilled the tea. And I was going to get a cup. Guys, but you didn't get a cup. You wanted slime. And Mama said, no slime. Hey. It's snowy out, and it is snowy in, you guys. School really takes away from our day. We spend so much time doing chores at home, I do chores, they do school, that we run out of time, and time is about to get crazy. I just found out today that we ride at our lesson barn because the girls have extra lessons now. We'll be riding four days a week. So uh, basically we have to pack up all of our stuff. We didn't take any of our stuff to the barn yesterday with Storm and Finn. So I'm gonna do that right now. First I'm gonna feed the kitty. Feed the, oh, you have food. You have food. Yeah, I fed him this morning. Oh, well he just wants love then. No, he wants water. Oh, all right, get him water. Yeah, because of everything. There's no water down here. In that girl's trough. Oh. Them still working on hooking up the water. But at least there's a possibility. All right, let's go throw hay. Stella, are you ready for hay? Are you ready for lunch, pretty girl? All right. Hi. Hi, Stella Bell. She's like, oh gosh, not the, not the noisy people. Uh, water's looking messy, but good. Uh, yeah, so there's like a lot of snow out here. The place where we boarded the boys, they worked really hard in the last couple of weeks to make the paddock clean and and flat and really nice for our boys. And they didn't have to do that. Like that really warms my heart that they did that just to make it nice for us. The bottom piece of the ass. <laughs> Fences oh, that's not this good. Is how high the snow was at Wait, how come the electric fence is so low? The ice on it, it won't work if um if it's buried in snow, so you guys gotta You guys need snow pants. So if you guys are wondering, I did find my snow pants. For the girl that asked what are snow pants, these are lined pants that prevent your your pants from getting wet and they also offer a layer of insulation to keep you warm and they, you need them in Canada. When we go to the barn, you guys need to take snow pants just in case. So today when we go to the barn, we have to unpack and Gabby, Sophie is going to be, I think, riding in a group lesson. Are you guys okay with watching group lessons? She is still gonna have a um, private lesson every single week too, so she doesn't fall back in her skills or anything. So she'll be riding like an hour and a half, an hour and a half each week with instruction. It's really quiet here with just the girls. They're more quiet than normal. I feel like they're saying, oh my gosh, they took the boys away. Be quiet, they're gonna take us next. Just joking. Let's take these to the barn too so we always have our own little buckets. Like, I don't wanna be at the other barn and then realize like that I need stuff. So, um, I'm gonna take my riding boots. Are these them? Sophia. That's what happens when you let somebody ride with your boots. Oh my goodness. Ugh. And then I put them the same way. <laughs> anyway, the trouble is, is that I bought three tubes of medicine for Storm. Three things to treat his thrush. And we used up two of them and I lost the other one. And 
The problem is, is that his brush is 99.9% .9 cleared up, and I love that. But you guys know what thrush is like. If you still have the bacteria on your body, this is going to continue to grow. So I needed to, I need to keep treating them until it's completely gone. And I know that last tube will fix that, but I can't find it to save my life. We found it. Thank God we found it. A whole brand new tube. Oh, thank you. So. Oh, thank you, Gabby. So I'm gonna pack up just a small little um, first aid kit that we can take. We need some vet wrap in there. We have all of our stuff. Fiona is picking us up. And then we're gonna move our stuff for the horses into the barn. I'm still weepy about it, you guys. I just need to get past today. I she think I'm gonna be this cried this morning so bad. Like cried worse than yesterday. Can't even like, and then I got so upset again down in the barn. But anyway, um, Shayla has a new video uh, on her channel. It's her first fall caught on camera. It was the funniest fall on earth. You should check it out. Shayla Equestrian is her channel. Um, but the funniest part of the whole the whole lesson was hilarious. But the funniest part about the whole video was at the beginning, the pony said to her, she was riding Coco, get off, get down. You're not getting on me. You're not getting on me. You're not getting on me. And she just kept trying and trying and trying. And then he... Oh, you gotta watch to see what he did to her. But literally, I died laughing. I died laughing. It's so funny. And someone in her comments said that her vlog, her videos are so genuine. And that's the thing about Shayla. She's like Sophie. Such a genuine, kind, amazing person. I have to just tell you this because <laughs> seriously, sometimes Gabby cracks me up. So I have all my stuff ready outside on the porch. The girls have all their junk here. And there, and I'm like, Sophie says, are you gonna put your stuff in my locker? Cause I don't wanna share my locker with anybody. And yeah, I said- Yeah, it's horrible. And I said, Sophie, all I have is a, <laughs> a uh -huh. saddle pad, a helmet, and a pair of boots. That's it, and Gabby said. No, <laughs> Gabby said, oh. You don't even have a pair of boots. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? I have a pair of boots. I'm thinking like she doesn't know what pair means. I'm a terrible teacher. I need to go back back to that section in school. And she goes, well, I noticed out there in your bucket of stuff, all you have is one of your boots and one of my boots. She wasn't going to tell me. She was just going to let me get to the bar and realize that I don't even have a pair of boots. That is not nice. Fiona brought us, is break, taking us to the barn and she has to get gas. And Fiona is showing Gabby how to do it. She's like, Gabby, get out here and learn how to get your mother gas. So from now on, when we want to have to go someplace and I have to get gas, I don't have to tell Sam, Sam, I'm gonna need gas for tomorrow. Can you get gas? Gabby can just get me gas, which is probably the wrong thing to say. I should be saying I'm out there to learn, but it's like rocket science for me. I can do a lot of other things, but not get gas. Yes. <laughs> He's looking. His ears are point, pointed. Oh, look at they both see us. Finn. Oh my God, I might cry. Look, he, he knows it's us. They know it's us. Storm even came out there. He's like, oh, thank goodness we're going home now. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? How are you? Are you hungry? I'll throw you some more food. My heart's I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. There he is, you guys. I gave him a little bit of hay. At this barn, at most barns in this area, you're fed twice a day, and they're not used to that yet. So, before Gabby gets on this boy, Gabby's gonna ride him today in a less in a group lesson. Before before she gets on him, I thought he better eat because you know what he's like. Mom, Gabby, you know what I'm saying? Gabby's for Coco, and I'm riding Coco. Oh. I like Coco. 
Coco doesn't bolt to jump. So who's gonna ride Finn? You. Okay, huh? Or I could ride him while Sophia's riding. So go up, Gabby got a blood blister. Mm -hmm. From slamming Finn's door on my head. So yeah, storm skiing kind of funny, but it's because he's moved. He's, he's excited. He's energetic. Should have exchanged it. No, no, no. Full one. Don't slap me in your head. You slip my world on fire. You slip my world on fire. I don't know what I'd do without you You make me smile, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below